Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, I have a Brad Taste of Music, and welcome to part 2 of Reacting to Scale the Nicey. I just finished recording part 1 about a minute ago, and now I'm recording part 2, bitches! Uh, yeah, this album's super mid, super duper mid, like if being mid was a superpower, that's this album so far. So, uh, without further ado, let's hope that maybe something in the second half turns it around for me. Yeah, I haven't completely given up on this album, but I, I gotta say, that's it's very, um, spotty. And, and I'm not very impressed so far with what I'm hearing. Tyler Joseph, not even making this concept sound interesting, or even, I don't even know if there is a concept anymore, because for the love of God, this is so all over the place, and, and it's it's dull, it's lifeless, I'm like, okay, I guess lore doesn't matter here. <sighs> it is not as interesting as Trench, which I did listen to before actually recording this. So, yeah, as a frame of reference, Trench is just fantastic. This is just... Mid City. Next song. What even is the next song on this album? Next song, Mulberry Street. Uh, okay, here we go. Please pick up. Elton John, is that you? There's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this. Sus, keep your wits. There's nothing wrong with this. It's not sus at all. Huh? Finally, an interesting song. Like, it's very obvious when the songs are interesting, considering, you know, how much they're they're poking fun at the listeners here for like, oh, you know, be careful with this album. It does feel like they've, one, created a lot of songs that make me not believe the concept as much. I was expecting less dullness, you know? Like the last track, for example. Th doesn't really feel like it does anything for the concept, and now it's getting back to this, like, weird, you know, oh, something's off thing, and now I'm interested again, because that's an interesting thing. Like, people don't usually do do that. This is okay. Yikes. Guess this is him speaking out or something in a minute. I know, man. This song is screaming sus. If there is any lore in this album, it's this song. Alright, I'm already bored. <laughs> Oh shit, that's the pitch down vocal. Oh no, so good to see you. That's some fucked up shit right there, okay? I'm catching on to it, you know. I'm the... uh, 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 oh, what? Where am I? Wait, what year is it? Oh man, this album is fucking boring. I gotta say, man, they, they, I mean, I thought Blurry Face was like picking a boring generic palette, you know, on purpose, but this, this is truly just like the next level of that, and I gotta say, man, I am not feeling this. Some people are gonna enjoy this a lot more than me, but uh, fuck, man, the production, just nothing pops out to me. The constant repetition of the chorus on every song is just endlessly boring, and I, and I get it, you know, I just, I get it. It's beating into my head, but not even in a good, entertaining, or even catchy way, it's just an an annoying way. I mean, it's a little bit of a rebound. And, and I do mean a little bit. It's a shrug. I gotta say, this is not a very fun or interesting or compelling song. And it doesn't do a whole lot different from what I uh, was hearing with the other tracks, but I guess the topic is a little more interesting and there's a bit more to pick out. I, I feel like I have to drag my feet through this album right now with tracks like, like these, you know? It just, it becomes so slow and so boring eventually that I'm just I'm like... Waiting to, for this misery to end, you know? Yeah, this is uh, mid-city so far. Let's hope that the next song bounces it back. Formidable! Formidable, let's go. Alright, more over the top pop shit, where nothing stands out, sounds like a bed of roses. Oh, 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 oh shit, I'm still here? Oh god, this is like, yikes. <laughs> hey look, you can get the idea and still think that it's a failed execution. Formidable means inspiring fear or respect through being impressively large, like Megatron or something. Maybe. Maybe the album's about, oh no, it's a big scary Tyler Joseph walking through the city. And everybody thinks he's friendly, but he's really not friendly because he's got emotional insecurities. That's the... <laughs> it's big brain. Big brain right there. I follow you, I'm with you. 
nothing pops out, dude. Hey, let me let's see. The thing is, is I don't know whether or not this is like, because sometimes you know, music when when you hear too much of it, you, you know, everything starts to sound the same. I gotta listen to some good songs to see whether or not I'm like uh, I'm still in it. So let's listen to a couple good songs together. <laughs> Oh shit, yo, I might actually be a little sick of music. Yeah, it might actually be a little bit of uh, fatigue. So maybe I should come back to this after walking my dog. So with that being said, I'm going to pause for right now. Um, okay, maybe let's listen. To, let's try another song. Yeah, I think I'm suffering from a little bit of fatigue. So I might come back to this album later. But uh, yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of music, but at least I still have a little bit of my taste, you know? I, and I can tell that this is clearly, like, not up to par, not up to standard, man. This is mega boring shit, and I'm struggling to, like, not fall asleep right now. I gotta, I gotta stop it right now. I gotta take a break. So, see you guys in a bit. Alright, I'm back. I walked my dog. Everything should be good. Let's listen to this and hope it's not still mediocre. It's so boring. I know. So boring. It's like he just is talking over the most generic sound palette on, on planet Earth. I mean, look, this is honestly some of the, like, lamest execution of this, like, oh, this is all pop, you know, oh, this is all propaganda that could possibly, that could possibly hit my eardrums. This is just weak and boring execution, and it, it's almost like... It's so cryptic. There's there's almost no joy listening to this on a casual listen. The song is forgettable to me. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so boring. That song was a slug fest. That was so boring that it's making me sing every word I say. Cause I guess that songwriting. Hey, 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 yo. Hey, hey, hey. This song's so forgettable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yikes, I'm so bored. I wanna cry, I wanna die, way, 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 yeah, 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 oh, oh, no. What do I even say about this song? I'm bored to death. I just, I have nothing to say. It was just like talk singing over the most generic sound palette imaginable. Shrug. Like, fuck, I don't even care, dude. This, I would never listen to this on a casual listen. That gave me, like, boredom whiplash, and let's hope the next song fixes that, like, I feel speechless because I don't feel like I'm even listening to anything, dude. They're they're really they're really taking it to another level when it comes to making boring shit. Next song, Bounce Man. Bounce Man. This is pushing it. This is pushing how much I can take. You know, I appreciate the mature, you know, Tyler, Tyler maturing and becoming a happy father or whatever. But this, holy shit. Like, I, I feel like I, this is made for toddlers. Okay, here's the critic and the human being in me is someone who really does like if I don't give a shit about the lore, right? This is boring music that I would never listen to, right? So if that's the tone that they're setting, then I'm just I'm out. I'm out of the fucking tone of these songs. It's not doing a single thing for me. Um, it's like it literally feels like I'm listening to an AJR song.
Yeah, this is um this is really boring. This is like uh it's tacky, it's boring, and not ironic enough for me to care, that's for sure. That was Bounce Man. Um God. I I don't even want to start handing out red headphones to songs that sound like generic trash that add nothing to the album. So I'm just going to give it a shrug because it's not that it's a bad song. It's just a song that does actually nothing for me. Uh, maybe I'd care about the lyrics if they like... God, God, it's like a fucking nursery rhyme, dude. I'm... Uh, I, would need, I need a palate cleanser. This album's palate is really, really just... It's like it's bleeding out of the ironic sense and it's starting to become very like... Um, You know, there's nothing really all that new about making an album that sounds like super cheery and then is like dark on the inside. That's a very common 21 Pilots thing to do. And I'm starting to realize that there's nothing really about this album that's special or stands out in any sort of way. I'm totally not feeling this at all. At all! I'm bored, man. I just want this to be over with, man. And this was supposed to be the big, you know, I was supposed to be hyped for this shit, but no, I'm not, dude. That like... I, I just, nothing is really connecting. I, I feel very disappointed. Please, please, next song be interesting. No chances, track 10. Okay. Hey, I can fuck with this. This sounds already interesting. Hey, oh no, Justin made another one, bitch. Yeah, yeah, I got $20 rings. I got all these money things. Now this is interesting. This is different. Hey! And my house shoes in a foot race, playing it on grip tape with my shoes. This goes hard, dude. Wait, okay, wait, wait, okay. Alright, my expectations have been kind of blown out of the water. Now this this is an interesting track. This is an interesting switch up, and this probably has a lot to do with the theme of the album. Now I'm interested again. It's like, you you, you know, I was kind of sleeping through all the, you know, propaganda shit. Now, no chances. You know, that sounded to me like some bishops or some crazy bullshit going on. You know, now this, this is what I was looking for. It sounds amazing. Also, production slaps on the Joseph. Sounds incredible over this, dude. All right. Here's a track that I feel good about listening to. Let's go. Tongue notorious in the octagon. Home in one piece now. You know, I'm confused, but I'm very interested. I like it. The information in those terms of agreement. We spent some weekends on the grind. It's a boring chorus. Generic guitar, okay? One piece now. Yeah. See, now this is what I'm talking about. This is an interesting song. It's constantly going through some interesting shit. I'm never bored. Ooh, and it slaps too. Slaps like I'm taking a crap on your suit. Yeah, bitch, we got guns. We go shoot that gang. We the bishops. We go come for you. Bang. Yeah. My name is Tyler Joseph. I'm a rapper. My name is Tyler Joseph. I'm a crapper. My name is Tyler Joseph. I'm a rapper. Yeah. Wrap you up like you a gift. Make sure that you don't exist. I put your name on the list, bitch, bitch. No chances. Slap. Smiley Ball, the most interesting song in the entire album. It feels like a reality break for this whole, you know, uh, uh, oh no, there's all this, you know, uh, the happy bullshit. And then the chorus sounds like, uh, like a happy chorus that's being like corrupted or whatever. And then the bishops are like, oh, don't you fucking dare even try to get away. Ah, dude, this song slaps. It's a slap. It's a rebound. I'm fucking with it. This makes me proud. This makes me happy. And this makes a lot of the bullshit I sat through worth it. Okay? That's what I was hoping for. Something that actually makes my time not feel wasted. All right. I'm very impressed by that track. Let's see what the closer is. Okay? Next song. Last song, Redecorate. Let's check it out. Let's see how this album ends. Sounds kind of corrupted, too. In 
another really interesting track. I'm totally feeling this. There are a couple of lines here that are a little corny, you know, with the redecorating your room. Again, dude, it's, it's a little whack, you know? It's a little corny of a, of a comparison. But that being said, the, hey, the rest of the songs make it up for it. Big time. I love the sound of this. It's so mysterious. It's, like, drenched in this, like, haunting haunting vibe that's being carried over from the last track dude this is a hell of an outro this is a very strong way to end off this album truly it's making me almost a, like like this is like the impossible comeback that i was hoping this album would take actually happening as now it seems like it's talking about she's throwing you know bl blankets over the mirrors you know it's like a redecoration can't look at herself you know maybe it's like this is the time of uh of uh what's it called you know like where you die and and it's uh all your stuff's coming back to haunt you right maybe he's saying he needs to redecorate he needs more time <laughs> not crazy on this chorus though it's a little like oh like this the, the vocal effects are a bit much it's totally overproduced as fuck redecorate <laughs> Redecorate. All right, it's becoming cheery, so maybe this is the redecoration. Maybe he's redecorating his life through cheeriness. Very clear outro. Very, like, a very strong outro, I will give it that. So, Smiley Ball, I think that this album ends in a fantastic way that I think is, like, it, it needed, like, these two songs to really come together and, and get it back on its feet and make it interesting again, and I would say it actually completely succeeds at doing so. Actually, an incredibly impressive outro, and it really pulled off the impossible, as I thought that the rest of this second le leg was just incredibly boring. But I gotta say, redecorating with these happy, pretty sounds does not make it sound better. I mean, the truth is, is yeah, it's, it's like you can put whatever coat of paint you want on it, but the bullshit is still there, and it's still... You know, it's whatever. So maybe the whole idea of this album is he's trying to, like, you know, put a pretty coat of paint on everything to make it look all nice. You know, just to, just to redecorate, you know, the, the, the sad bullshit that's going on. I get it, but I think the midsection of this album is just incredibly boring to my ears. And I think that the concept itself coming together at the very end does impress me quite a bit. And it's enough for me to, like, reconsider and probably go back and re-listen to these other tracks. So, I'm going to go do that on my own time, and my score will probably change if, basically, if whatever changes, so the number will be different. Overall, though, I gotta say, this album is pretty mid. It's pretty mid. This is a pretty mediocre release from 21 Pilots, but, uh, you know, there are a couple of things in there that, that really impressed me. I think it starts strong and ends really strong. I like the first track as it is, is like overly cheery, overly happy. It's like this painted, you know, really over the top picture. But then it just becomes like extremely dull by track two as I just start to lose interest in the album. It has like a small rebound and then it just kind of dives off and goes into some really boring bullshit. I got to go back over it though when the with the lyrics when they come out, but... God, I gotta say, man, I'm, I'm a little disappointed with this album, but at the same time, could be worse. Uh, hopefully the next album improves where I think this album just really lacked. Overall, for me, this album's a 6 minus. Doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Wish I got a lot more, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, yeah, you live and you learn. I think that, you know, the fans are gonna pick and choose what they like, and I don't know. Eh. It kind of works, but kind of doesn't at the same time. I think that the concept falls a little flat <laughs> in the midsection, a bit too hard for me. But I will commend it where it's great. I think that it had some fantastic ideas here, and I think that it's a very unique concept, something I don't really see a whole lot of people doing. So I appreciate what Tyler is doing here. I appreciate what Josh is doing here, and they made a decent album with a couple of decent tracks. All right, that's all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Bradley. I have a Brad taste in music. Hope you guys have a good uh, rest of your day. Peace out. See ya.